Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kimberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. Some crime novels are deeply affected by the setting, physical setting, local culture, and even the way the characters talk. Let's take a closer look at a book like that today and turn the spotlight on Michael Lister's The Night Of. Lucas Burke and Alex Blade Baker own Baker & Burke, a private investigation company in Panama City Beach, Florida. As the story begins, they get a new client, Candace Landis, who wants them to find her missing daughter, Nora Henry, and Nora's baby daughter, Emma. The two went missing a month earlier when Nora ran out of gas on a rural road, and no one has seen them since. There's little evidence to go on and nothing in the nearby fields and woods. No evidence to show they were ever there. No bodies have been found. And despite a thorough police search, there are no clues. Burke and Blade take the case and begin to ask questions. They soon find that there are several possible leads. One is footprints in the sand, a religious retreat that Nora had been staying at for a while. No one there was seen to have a motive, but as Burke and Blade look into the place, they find a few questionable things seem to be going on there. There's also Nora's own family. Candace has said that there was no animosity, but who's to know the truth? And the Landis family has fostered and adopted a number of young people through the years. There could be something there too. There are other possibilities as well. As Burke and Blade keep digging, they find that several people, some of them in local positions of power, do not want them to succeed. So it's also possible that Nora could have stumbled on something that involves people in high places. The closer they get to the truth, the more Burke and Blade have to decide who's telling the truth, who's lying, who's trustworthy, and who isn't. In the end, we learn what happened to Nora and Emma, but not before Burke and Blade get into some very serious danger. So what is it about this book that holds it together? What are the elements in it? Well, as I say before, this story is impacted by its setting. It takes place in rural Florida, not very far from the Alabama border, and we get a clear sense of life there. The physical setting, the culture, the dialogue, and the local social structure all reflect life in the modern South. The case takes Burke and Blake through several parts of that social structure too, as they search for answers. The story is told from Burke's point of view, first person, present tense. So we learn about his and Blade's background. They both grew up in the care system and learned to depend on each other, although they have very different personalities. But they're fiercely loyal to each other. Burke has anger issues and has spent some time in prison, but he's not completely damaged. He's working on himself, trying to make a life. For her part, Blade is tough, quick thinking, and clear headed. She's been through some horrible things and is now just trying to move on with her life. Their partnership is as much one of comrades in arms as it is anything else. This is a gritty story. There is violence, although it's not gratuitous, and there is a lot of explicit language. The mystery itself, what happened to Nora Henry and her daughter, is solved through some painstaking work, a little luck, and making sense of what evidence is available. As the story goes on, we see how modern PIs do their work and how they get information for people who aren't required to talk to them. In this novel, the PIs have a positive working relationship with their main police contact, so they do share information. It's not that stereotypical setup where PIs and police uh, turn out to be against each other. The Night Of is the story of a baffling case that's got several tangled threads. It features a Florida, Alabama setting, a painstaking investigation, and two PIs with their own burdens who are determined to find out the truth. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kimber. Thanks for watching.